No, no, I appreciate what you did. That was thankful, thankful, uh, thoughtful. There we go. So let's go and think about our continuum. So we want to figure out why is 2 to the 0 equal to 1? You trying to hide them? No. Oh. Why is 2 to the 0 equal to 1? So we have 2 to the first, 2 to the second, 2 to the third, and 2 to the fourth. Now, we have been working on these for a while, Chris, and we've practiced these, right? We know that 2 to the 0, let's get to that in a second. 2 to the first power means 2 multiplied by itself one time. So we know that answer is going to be 2. 2 squared means 2 times 2, which we know that answer is going to be 4. Right? right. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which that answer is 8. Then we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 16. Right? OK. Now let's go back over to the negative numbers. No? Y'all got it? OK. Let's go over to the negative numbers. 2 to the negative first, 2 negative squared, 2 negative cubed, and 2 to the negative fourth. Now remember, when we have the negative exponents, rather than multiplying by itself twice, now what essentially we're doing is we're dividing by 1 over 2. 1 to the negative second power means 1 divided by 2 to the first power. Right? Remember we put it in the denominator to make it positive? We showed why when it's in the denominator it's equal to that negative value. Then let's go and look at y to the negative second. It's going to be y squared. So does everybody agree with me in my analysis right now? OK. So this is really 1 over 2. 1 over. Teacher, pardon the interruption. I do have several bus changes this afternoon. Students who ride bus 274 will ride bus 637. Students riding 202 will ride DS10. Students riding 956 will ride DS12. Students riding 202 will ride DS10. Students on 637 will ride DS4. Students now. riding 900 will ride 254. Mallory. And students riding 274 will ride bus 637. To go from here to here. To go from here to here, what am I doing? What am I doing? To go from here to here, what am I doing? Multiplying by 2. Very good. To go from here, what am I doing? To go to here to here, what am I doing? OK? Let's go back over here. To here to here, what am I multiplying by? You want to make sure of it? 1 over 16 times 2 equals 2 over 16, which reduces down to 1 over 8. Does everybody agree with me? Yeah. This is the very, very important part that you're missing. OK? So therefore, over here, Again, you're multiplying by 2. 1 fourth times 2 is what? <laughs> 2 over 4, which equals 1 half. Chase, could you move, please? Now, so ladies and gentlemen, if I'm looking for this next answer, right? If we're saying 2 to the negative second, negative first, then the next point up is 0, and then we go to the first. So what do you think I'm going to have to do to get to this next value? Multiply by, Multiply by 2. So if I do 1 half times 2, what is that going to give me? 1. So 2 to the 0 power oh. equals 1. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I can replace all of these 2's with x's. I can replace all these 2's with 8. I can replace all these 2's with a z. It doesn't matter. Any time you take your base, raise it to the 0 power, you're going to get 1. OK? Well, when you said that anything raised to the 0 power was 1, I just believe you. I know.